Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday. It's six in the morning. Today is the operation day. At uh, eight, uh, they will bring me away to start uh, the procedure. Last night it was hard to sleep. I asked them to bring me some drops, sleeping drops, two times. And I managed to sleep six hours, so really, really good, perfect. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling good. I can wait uh, to finish this. Uh, I can wait way to finish this uh, and start uh, you know the rehabilitation today is wednesday and it was surgery day for luca and here we have our beautiful luca resting amore we made it <laughs> we made it we made it yeah the surgery is completed i feel um, Great, I feel relieved. I know that now on uh, there is uh, only a beautiful path because it's rehabilitation. How do you say rehabilitation? Mm -hmm. So you can see improvement uh, day by day. So it's the best part uh, of the of the story the surgery the procedure that they did today it was the first one uh, being done it was never done before and uh, it was one hour with me sitting uh, on the table i will not go into details about it. it was the longest hour of my life and then uh, I've been able to lay down uh, and uh, after that uh, it was pretty easy once I was laying down but uh, the one hour that I was sitting up uh, it was uh, really really hard but uh, I'm so grateful for all the team all the staff uh, they are all heroes uh, and uh, yes I'm, I'm really really happy really grateful I'm sorry if I keep saying uh, every video every day I keep saying uh, several times but uh, it's, it's the true I'm so happy and so grateful for everything that is going on and uh, this accident uh, that happened every day I'm thinking uh, that is it was meant to be and uh, it's not an accident but it's, it's a gift it has been a gift uh, because it changed uh, my life uh, and uh, changed the life of all the people I love uh, that surrounds me so I'm really happy the method they used this morning was the first time they did a blood patch so they use Lucas blood instead of putting the blood from the lower area of uh, his back they enter with a catheter how do you call it i have to to search for the right the term kind of pipe. the kind of <laughs> really thin micro pipe <laughs> and they went up because they knew not 100 percent but they knew where 85%. the hole 85 percent where the source of the leak was so they want to go there exactly without losing the blood because what you really need is a drop of blood and all the rest of the blood otherwise could be really painful um, so they attempted this new uh, method this morning and apparently it went very well but we have to wait till tomorrow the day after tomorrow to see how everything the results and exactly after i returned back home luca started to feel very bad with a strong headache again and his back was really sore probably the effect of all the pills the drugs he, he took for the procedure disappear slowly slowly and he couldn't find a position where it could be at peace let's say like this 
and it was really tough. This is the evening, the night uh, after the surgery and um, unfortunately I'm uh, really in pain, headache, uh, strong headache uh, over here and my back is hurting, all oh, my spine is hurting so much. So now they are giving me some uh, painkillers in my, in my veins. So hopefully this will manage through the night and hopefully tomorrow I will be okay. It's normal after a surgery that it was kind of uh, a strong surgery, how to say, invasive surgery. So hopefully tomorrow I will be okay. I'm here, I'm trying to play with Lucha, I'm trying to smile, I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to think that everything will go well, that everything went well, that the surgery was successful and I have to to be strong. If I <laughs> at the same time, I would like really just to be there with Luca and hug him because I know he's living a very, very, very difficult moment right now. They said, the doctors said that probably is for the the pressure in his head now that the pressure is normal again he has this very strong headache it has been with the wrong pressure in the brain basically for over five weeks now so now that the pressure is is right again he's feeling that way so i hope that tomorrow will be better for him today it's time to trim my hair to cut my hair a little bit because if i need to go back home lucia needs to see her daddy nice and beautiful <coughs> Today is the day after the surgery. Yesterday was very tough. Luca wasn't feeling really well. But today we can see a huge, a big transformation. And uh, <laughs> we need to celebrate uh, because uh, every day that you are alive, uh, it's a day that you need to celebrate. So for this reason, I brought this pastry. Little pastry with chantilly cream. One bite. As you wish. One, One bite. Let's One do bite. it. Let's do it. Good morning beautiful people, today is Friday, day 19, 
dad, Luca is in the hospital, um, working with Lucha. This morning, he felt not so good as again. So today he's doing right now another another uh, MRI to check the brain and then they will tell us something in a few hours. Today was a very tough day for me too. Um, I just, we miss Luca so much. Uh, it's very hard now that, you know, three weeks in the hospital and then two weeks before it was here at the hospital, it was already feeling bad, so it was laying down in the bed. So now it's five weeks basically that I'm without my Luca helping and supporting me. But every time, as I mentioned in the previous video, I, I feel sad or I have moments like this, I immediately thought about how everything went so well for us and how lucky we are. So and then suddenly, immediately, I feel better and I'm happy and I'm smiling. But of course, I I'm starting to feel the tiredness. I'm starting to be tired. And Lucha also, she's not sleep sleeping during the night. So everything together is pretty a lot right now. But. Uh, we are handling, I think, in the best way possible. The days after the surgery, so Wednesday and then yesterday, were, were pretty tough also on him, and he will explain you why right now. As soon as the anesthesia and all the painkillers uh, um, lose effect, uh, you really can feel the, the pain. Uh, the position I had to keep during the um, surgery, it, it was over one hour surgery. It was really painful for all my herniated discs. Uh, and uh, so I had, I had uh, the pain of all my herniated discs, uh, two on the lumbar and two on the cervical to all the pain that the surgery caused. So the, the two days after the, the surgery were really intense uh, to sleep, uh, to, to lay down, uh, but uh, we managed to overcome them. Today I'm okay, today I'm feeling good, today I'm uh, positive, today is uh, 11 11 so is uh, the favorite number of Sarah 11 of no the 11th of November so we always have to festeggiare celebrate we always have to celebrate so today we are celebrating today i also did a risonanza magnetica with MRI MRI with uh, il liquido di contrasto the contrast liquid so they can check uh, the um, the thrombo the thrombosis you the have, thrombosis yeah. I have in my vein they check the brain uh, that basically is floating uh, in this liquid uh, they check if everything was okay basically they say that uh, it they already say something yeah they say it's okay okay that uh, that uh, it's getting better so how, how are you feeling are you feeling headache again no no, no no i'm not feeling headache uh, since uh, yesterday okay and uh, i would like to show you as sarah already mentioned it's five weeks uh, i'm uh, laying down it's five weeks i'm not walking a lot of people ask me why five weeks because we we thought that luca went to the hospital on the 24th of october yes he did because the, the strokes yes, happened on the 24th of october but before that night luca was already feeling really bad really sick and he was complaining about this strong and painful intense headache and they thought that was for the herniated discs he ha he has in the cervical he has the herniated disc but they are not they were not linked to the headache to that headache if you want to have more details about 
what Luca has and what they are curing right now, I will put a link in the description below this video with an article that it's very interesting and will explain everything about the CSF leaks and how new, let's say like this, they are uh, a lot of cases, like 94% of cases were misdiagnosed in the past and now the, the past 10 years they are studying in details, they have new machineries and new techniques and they are studying better this case and yeah, they are getting better at this. So I found it very interesting. In Lucas' case, it's pretty severe because the hypotension that causes also the strokes, and then the strokes they cause the seizures. So everything was pretty severe in his case. And they think that the bone grows like a little bit more than normal, and this can cause the the formation of the hole, the little hole that is could be like big as a pin so it's really everything is difficult the myelography is difficult and intense and then the blood patch itself is really intense but luca is a champion really he never complained about anything like really he's so strong i'm so proud of him the the procedure was uh, quite long because it was the first time they attempt uh, this procedure in uh, in the way they did it to me so it was never done before so of course when you do something for the first time uh, you know a lot of things uh, theoret theori theoretically mm -hmm. but then at the end uh, you find some obstacles uh, and you need to improvise uh, and try to overcome the obstacles uh, during the procedure. I'm happy that uh, it's done and I'm happy to erase uh, this procedure from my, my mind. But I'm, I'm super grateful and happy for all the team and the support uh, I had uh, at this hospital and uh, during the procedure. They told me that the procedure went okay. So it was successful. It was successful. L usually a lot of people have uh, the, the little leak, uh, the little hole that loses uh, yeah. down here mm -hmm. at the um, lower part of the back, uh, yes. the lumbar part. Uh, you had it like And here. Uh, I had, no, between the, the, the scapula, between the, the scapula. They had to fight uh, with the uh, with the needle and I had to move myself in order to be able to reach uh, the, the right place where to inject uh, the patch. So it was pretty intense uh, and I had to be w awake and alert uh, all the time. Uh, so they had to do a lot of injections, a lot of uh, local anesthesis, but uh, I, I, other than that, I could feel sometimes uh, if they touch uh, just a nerve uh, or something, I could feel really strong scosse, shakes, such as scosse, like electric shocks, you know, like. Oh. Mm -hmm. But I had to stay really still. Anyways, the procedure was done. Now I'm feeling okay and. Uh, I would like to show you something that I'm super proud of, uh, that I'm super happy. Ta -da! <laughs> Ta -da! Be careful. Eh? Yes, well done. And now I can just go everywhere I want. Uh, the world uh, is it's yours, baby. It's at my wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I can travel all around the world. <laughs> Whatever I want. Uh, so happy. Me too, baby. Huge improvement. Yes. You can tell that Luca is doing better because mm -hmm. he's eating and I brought him some salty pastry Pizzette and this is Luca's favorite pizza and this one with 
Filippine, c'è il Wurstel. Pomodoro mozzarella. They are doing today some blood test because of they want to study Lucas case very well so they are doing some genetic tests but they said that this test could uh, we will ha we will have to wait for this test for eight months the result will come in eight months he said in the spring but at least this is done if there is any suggestions why that yes. this happened uh, and uh, if it can happen again, uh, if it's something genetic, uh, mm -hmm. we will be able to figure it out. Uh, it's very important. And, and track it, uh, so th this is really important. Uh, so the blood, uh, we send it today. In eight months, we will have all the results. Uh, it will take so long because there are so many genetic uh, things that you can look for. It's very important to go through everything so that we can also live a little bit better, a little bit without fear, a little bit without tension, because every time that Luca will have a headache, I know that will be pretty scary for us. We are trying to study and read as much as possible yeah. about uh, what I have uh, and the studies uh, that uh, have been done. Uh. With the help also of other doctors, uh, our friends that are working in other hospitals in Italy, so they're really helping us a lot because um, yeah, more you read, more you study, more you will know about this. This is for Lucia. <laughs> Little Lucia. Today is Saturday, so you will be seeing uh, this video tomorrow, and I have a beautiful news. Uh, to show you because today for the first time I've been allowed to stand up and walk very good it is so emotional to see and to watch <laughs> Bravo, amore. Vieni qua. I'm so happy. I cannot describe how happy I am to be able to walk. <laughs> It's so beautiful to see you standing up again. So happy, so happy, so happy. <laughs> if you imagine three weeks Tomorrow, three weeks ago, I was half of my body paralyzed and now I'm able to move the half of my body, I'm able to walk, they fix the, the leak I had, I have no headache, I'm still with a lot of pain in my back for the surgery and and I, that's normal, so I'm still getting some painkillers. But uh, other than that, I mean, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I have my wife, uh, which saved my life. Uh, soon I will be able to go back home to my daughter, Luce. Hopefully next week uh, they will allow me to go back home. We don't know yet uh, when, they still need to check a lot of things, uh, 
in order to allow me to get out of the hospital. But uh, I mean, I'm so happy. Okay, beautiful people. Once again, thank you very much for all your support, uh, for all your messages, uh, your yeah. prayers, uh, your energy. I really feel it. Uh, we really feel it. We really Thank feel you. it. Thank you guys. We love you so much. We appreciate you so much. Stay tuned. Yes, next Wednesday we will give you updates. Uh, we will tell you how this weekend uh, will go and uh, if uh, and when they will let out let me out of the hospital yeah. and uh, see my daughter again Lucia that I miss so much I'm so happy and so grateful as always uh, remember la vita bella life is beautiful because it truly is uh, and yeah. every day is a gift uh, enjoy every day of your life uh, because it's a gift uh, and uh, be happy be joyful and uh, be grateful i love you ciao